Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell and Jim Brown from TRTRevolution.com and we're here answering your questions today in studio. We have a really good number of questions. We're supposed to be joined by Alexander Juan Antonio Cortez, um, but he's having some technical difficulties. So if he, if he pops in while we're doing this video, you guys know what's going on. But uh, the first question is, um, test levels and the immune system. If there is an optimal balance of hormones which could lead to a better immune system, could that prevent certain age-related diseases? Go ahead, Jim. Age-related diseases? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, we there's data on that. If um, you know, if you consider like um, cardiovascular disease or vascular inflammation, a cardiac or um, age-related disease, as far as regular immunity, um, I don't think I've ever seen anything on that specifically. But I can tell you that I, I'm certainly unhealthy when my hormones are are out of physiological range. Right. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the goal is always to have a balance between testosterone and estrogen. I mean, remember, we defaulted into the book, the two goals of testosterone replacement therapy are happiness and balance. So, you know, as you said, if you're not in balance, um, then yeah, you're, 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 you know, you're, I mean, remember, if you're not in balance, it's likely that you have high estrogen, right? We talk about this all the time. You're walking around in society, you see all these, you know, overweight, you know, sometimes obese. I mean, I mean, Alex posted an amazing, you know, interview the other day about um or not interview but an article about how most people don't even estimate themselves to be fat there he is so alex we're, uh, we're answering the question about uh, um immunity and testosterone levels and if you're if you're out of balance if they're compromised so jim already answered i'm just answering right now so you can have the final say cool uh, but but yeah i mean like in, in the article that alex was talking about and i'll let alex talk you know talk more about it it was it talked about how most people literally have like been, been almost pushed and designed by society now to, 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 to accept being unhealthy and to be fat and all of these different things. So it's the same thing with hormones. You know, when, you're, when you're not in balance and you're out of range, and again, as many men today are high estrogen, it, just, it, definitely, it definitely leads you to um, you know, be prone to diseases, um, getting sick a lot, getting sinus infections, sniffles. I mean, there's a lot of things. It's multifactorial. But uh, Alex, you want to add some thoughts to that? Yeah, 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 I was talking about hormones today on uh, my own email list where you know, people don't realize how much their own biofeedback influences their health that way. But you know, with hormones, we're talking about, when we were talking about being in balance, obviously everything's always kind of in a state of fluctuation. But relative to society at large today, where people are hormonally, you know, to use the word imbalance, people are hormonally imbalanced. When you don't feel healthy just overall, you're more likely to get sick. Right. Yeah, it's been it's been very very well proven throughout science over and over again that your self perception of your own health has a huge role in your immune system. Totally. If you feel like you're prone to being sick and you feel unwell and you do fall ill, your ability to heal yourself is compromised literally by your self belief. And that's not you know esoteric bullshit. That's your <laughs> brain chemically neurologically having an effect upon your entire immune system. When you feel healthy, even if you do get ill, you're more likely to recover from it. If so if your self-perception of your own health, like I said, is, oh man, I'm prone to getting sick and I feel low energy and I feel physically weak and I don't have the same quality of life I used to have, yeah, you're going to be susceptible to everything. And that's very solvable through balancing out your hormones. Totally. And getting to the gym. And, I, I forgot to, Jay, I forgot to mention DHEA levels. Right. It's been linked to immunity. So yeah, I mean, there, there is data suggesting that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well said. Okay, awesome, guys. Thanks, Alex. Uh